Hey, Elephant set from ksound.com. Real quick, in this video, I just want to show you something real quick. Something that um, Personas did that's pretty awesome that I failed to mention to you guys because I don't use it that much, but I will start using it. So when editing your MIDI, I think it's really useful to be able to, you know, you, you, you have your piano roll here, but say you are making adjustments against other MIDI notes or whatever. So I think it's pretty cool to be able to go to this here, this icon here, the um, track list is what it's called. So I can go and let's see, I have this going. Something I was working on on earlier live stream, right? But I can activate this other track, which is the damage kick. This is a kick here. You know, just say, for instance, you want to see that as reference in, in the background. And you want to make your, your MIDI selections and do whatever you need to do against that other view that's in the background. What is really cool is you, you can select all of the notes and they won't affect the note that's in the background. So vice versa. So say we on this track, which is a MIDI note. This is that kick we was talking about, or we what we just viewed. And I, if I activate this track here, I can see those extra other notes in the other track here, right? And so if I need to make adjustments to this, I can do so, and it won't select the background at all, which is really cool. I like that. So I hope you guys find this useful, and you take this, and it help you speed up the workflow of whatever you're doing, all right? This is Ellup from ksound.com. Once again, remember, music is art. You're the artist. Paint your picture.